What's up guys? Today I want to start and rolling out a new format. It's called Simple Sunday and in this format I want to talk about basics in photography. So let's start the first episode. So in today's episode we are talking about HDR images, how you can shoot them and how you edit them and import them in Lightroom. So, first thing we have to do is to mount on our camera to a tripod and use a remote control to avoid shaky images. Second thing, we have to set focus to manual to have always the same focus distance. So, and what's, what's HDR? HDR means high dynamic range. So, we need perfect uh, exposure in the shadows and the lights and in the in between. <laughs> so what we have to do is to shoot a normal exposure image like this. Second thing we have to do is to shoot an underexposed image. And last we have to shoot a overexposed image. So that's it and now let's switch into Lightroom. So now we are in Lightroom and as you can see here, there are the three photos we've shot. All you have to do is to select them all by hitting shift, select the first photo, select the last photo, right click, photo merge, HDR. And now Lightroom is creating a preview. Uh, let's use this time to explain you the options. Deghosting is useful if you have movements like people walking through your images, then you have to uh, use deghosting. As in this image, there's no movement, we don't have to use anything. Auto tone, auto align selects the colors and uh, the perfect exposures in the different parts of the image. So now we have to hit merge. Lightroom is creating the HDR. Let's wait a second, I skip this. So here we have the final HDR image, which Lightroom created. Let's develop it. What Lightroom did, it, al it already set its own settings, which Lightroom meant to be perfect. What we have to do is to finalize it, get our own look. So let's do it quickly. Here we've got the final photo. It's nothing special, but it shows you how to create HDRs. So guys, this was the first Simple Sunday. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see each other next time. Bye.